What is up guys? In this video we are going to be adding our app in iTunes Connect and also enabling the leaderboards. So to start go to itunesconnect.apple.com and sign into your developer account if you did make one in the last video. And this is going to be the dashboard for essentially everything you need to do to um, dealing with your app's finances or analytics or sales, like all these different things you can do on the iTunes Connect. For now, we're just going to go into My Apps. And we are going to create um, a new app right here. You can see I already did this a couple times. Um, but go to this plus over here, uh, tap on New App. For Platforms, tap on iOS. For the name of your app, you're going to have to come up with a unique name um, for your app specifically. Just for this testing, per for testing purposes, I'm gonna say Neo Ninja. Um, test three. Primary language is going to be English. And this name right here, by the way, is going to be the name that appears on the App Store. Um, so if you are planning on submitting it, uh, choose wisely. So we have primary language English. For a bundle ID, just do this Xcode iOS wildcard app ID. This will just create one for you. One thing you do need to get um, right is the bundle ID suffix. So this bundle ID suffix, if we go into Xcode, this is what they are talking about. So I'm going to put in this for mine, um, com.neoninjatest.neoninjatest3. Be sure you get this right, um, otherwise the leaderboards will not work. You can, I'm pretty sure you can change it after, uh, after the app is actually created, but just getting it right the first time will help out with um, any error down the line. So for our SKU, this is just a unique ID, like it says right here, for your app that is not visible on the App Store. So this can be anything that you want. Uh, for this one, I'm gonna say Neo Ninja Test 3. Um, yes, that is what I'm gonna call for my SKU. Really, it does not matter what your SKU is as long as it's a unique, uh, a unique thing to your app. So I'm just going to hit Create right here and it is going to create our app for us. Now to access the leaderboards, so right now we're basically in our app, we have all of the options that we can do with it. Um, let's click on features here at the top. If you scroll, um, no, if you click on Game Center then on the left side, and you scroll down, you'll see that there's this leaderboard section. In order to add our leaderboard, let's hit this plus right here. And we want to create a single leaderboard Awesome, so now we just need to fill in the, uh, the information right here. I'm just gonna call this the Neo Ninja leaderboard. This is what's going to appear um, in, as the title of your leaderboard in the app. For our leaderboard ID, uh, this has to be something, a unique identifier that we can access in the app to submit our score to it. So I'm gonna call this Neo Ninja test um, leaderboard three. And whatever you call this, um, this can't actually be the same as mine. Um, but just remember, like, you can just copy this and paste this into a text edit document. So I'm just going to kind of pull this up and just paste that in there. Um, that's what I always do to save things. It's usually pretty useful just to kind of pull up, pull up one of those. For the score format, uh, we're going to do integer. It is going to be the best score. It is going to be... Um, Basically, it's going to submit the best score for the user versus the user's most recent score. For the sort order, we want high to low so that the high scores appear at the top. The score range is optional. I'm just going to leave. Um, I don't think we really need a score range in there. For our leaderboard localization, we just need to add in a language here. This is just going to make it so um, if you end up having the app in multiple... Uh, in multiple countries with different languages, you can change those languages for the given country. So I'm just gonna call this Neo Ninja. Um, just gonna call this Neo Ninja Leaderboard. For our formatter, I'm going to use um, decimals because that's just where I'm from. And, um, oh no, I'm gonna use commas. This is for when, this is actually for when um, the number gets too big. So in the US, we use commas. So for the score 
score format suffix. Um, this basically just means what it's going to put after the points. So if, if the fuser has one point, it's going to put it, it's going to put in one point as the whole thing. If it's more, more than one point, it's going to put in um, like two points, three points, stuff like that. So awesome, we can save this right here. And it looks like we have all the information that we need. The save button um, gets highlighted. So we can click that. And it should save our leaderboard. Awesome, so we have the Neo Ninja leaderboard uh, now on our Game Center account. In the next videos, we'll actually be able to save our score to this leaderboard.